Well, um, one of the things we really like about the show is that we feel like our storytelling can accommodate a really great tonal range mm -hmm. that we don't have to give the audience the same show every week so we can surprise them. And our characters are funny as characters mm -hmm. and they bring that perspective to every investigation they do. But I think that, it, that if you stay lighthearted, um, there's a real danger that your characters don't grow. And I think that that's fine for some shows. Uh, Terry and I come out of the screenwriting tradition where we do want to see growth in the characters. And so it means you, you need to challenge them. Uh, partly this year was honoring some of the stuff that we, you know, that we had set up in season three. Uh, dealing with 3XK and Ryan's gun uh, being taken away. That's a huge thing for a cop, mm -hmm. and we felt like we had to honor that in the show yeah. and confront it head on. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a show that I think turned out really, really well um, that will be airing uh, a week from this Monday called Kill Shot, where we delve into Beckett's psychology and some of the PTSD she has from her sniper shooting in a high stakes episode. So it, it's a lot of fun for us, but it was always in the back of our minds when we were developing the show that we wanted to accommodate that wide tonal range. Um, I was a big fan growing up of, of MASH, and MASH was, you know, set in this, this, this mobile surgical hospital where the stakes every day were life and death. But if you treat the stakes every day as life and death, if you're one of those characters, you'll eventually go numb. So you had a great character like Hawkeye who brought real gallows humor to it, but there was humor in the situation. And that was one of the things that we were looking to do with Castle, is to take the the life and death situation, you know, investigating the murder where we're taking the murder seriously, but we're also dealing with it in a fun and funny way. Mm -hmm. But there were really powerful episodes of MASH where they would delve into um, some of the grittier realities, and they felt really heightened in comparison to the funny stuff. So I think it allows us to, to do those things and every time we do it, it feels special in a way. Yeah. And then when it starts to feel too much to the audience, the next week we come back with, with something really funny. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I think we stumbled upon this um, second season when we had uh, a, a great two-parter involving a serial killer. And there was a lot of weight to that one. Mm -hmm. um, and we followed it up with one that was basically The Curse of the Mummy, which was almost a Scooby-Doo episode. Right. Uh, and it delighted us. It delighted us to be able to accomplish that in that, that uh, tonal range. And the other thing about the, the um, more serious ones, it allows us to expand the mythology of our characters. Right. So that's another thing that we get to do. So when you have the serious show and you expand the mythology of the character, it deepens the comedy as you go on because mm -hmm. it, it gives you something to stand on to yeah. have the characters make fun of each other or to tease each other, mm -hmm. you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. So it does that as well. I prefer the comedy. Okay. <laughs> I, love the, I love writing romantic comedy. Mm -hmm. But one of the things I love is um, going down that line where part of the episode is comedy but part of it is very serious because murder is very serious. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you always have to honor that in the show. We're, we're careful not to make fun over a body, not to joke over a body, and to take the fact that the murder is serious. Sometimes the murder itself is ridiculous and we're talking about the circumstances, but never about a person being murdered because that's, you know, the most horrible thing. Yeah. For me, they're both fun in different ways. It's the Young Storytellers Organization mm -hmm. and uh, the way that I found it is I volunteered for it several years ago, just before Castle happened actually, um, and during the writer's strike when we weren't writing, <laughs> we were just walking, and it's, it's just the greatest grassroots organization because uh, you go into schools, and we're called mentors, and you help the kids who are in the school uh, once a week for six weeks write a short screenplay. And um, the kids write it completely. You don't give them a word. You just mentor them and help them to write their screenplay and you go in and teach them the structure of it and how it all works and what they come up with in six weeks is amazing. And then when they're done we have something called the big show and real actors come and perform their screenplays in their school auditoriums. And it's just, it's the most wonderful program. We have a pizza party and um, 
the kids are so proud of themselves and they discover talents they didn't know they had wow. and they are big shots in front of all their friends at school <laughs> and they learn to love writing That's and cool. yeah a lot of the schools that they go into um, are are challenged uh, and a lot of the kids haven't really connected with um, the literacy skills in, in a way that people uh, hope they will. So this is a different way to come in and get them to engage in the writing process where it's not formal, it's about telling their story, it's about unleashing their imagination in a very concrete way mm -hmm. in, in a really supportive environment where you know if somebody is, is trying to figure out how to color inside the lines, this is we just give them a blank piece of paper and let their imaginations run wild. Mm -hmm. And then to see you know, these actors come in, there's such joy in these actors, all of whom are professionals, to come in and give, give their all uh, to the, the scripts that these kids have written. Um, uh, sometimes I think that the, the actors and the mentors are getting uh, as much or more out of it than the kids, but to see the kids' faces light up and to see that level of pride when their parents come and see what they've done, it's really a, a, just a, a tremendously heartwarming thing. Um, and, and we treat them like stars. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> and the feedback from the schools is, is really phenomenal about what it does to help these kids, uh, helps them open up, gives them confidence. Um, We've had a couple of kids who have really difficult situations at home, and there was this one little girl in one of our seminars who wouldn't talk to anybody, and she wasn't, she, she just had no confidence. And as we went along, you know, help, telling her story was kind of a reflection of what she was going to, through and it was very freeing to her and she opened up just incredibly in the process and that happens to so many kids in the program and it's it's so, it's such a simple program and we had a castle day uh, a little while wow. back where John and Seamus and Juliana came and um, their friend Rachel who was in an episode of castle a long time ago and uh, they performed and it's very improv and it's very wild I mean the kids do things like create aliens that get eaten by dogs, you know, <laughs> or that fly to other planets, and you do wow. all that stuff on a stage just improvisationally. Wow, that's from great. from their script. I mean, word for word from their scripts, wow. and it's all of the kids' words, and we just, you know, take their dictation and maybe help them say, well, you need to have an ending here, or you need to have an arc for this character, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So, but it's their stuff. Great. And, and storytelling is really part of the DNA of, of our relationship, you mm -hmm. know, me and Terry. We, we met, uh, we won the Nickel Fellowship the same year through the Academy, mm -hmm. and that's how we met, uh, and the Nickel Fellowship is for emerging screenwriters. So our entire relationship is, is basically founded on our mutual love of storytelling. That's where it started. So it seemed like the right organization to, to, to be partnered with.